Tim Pace. Well, good morning and uh, welcome to coverage of today's Subway and IBFA under 16 National League game. It's between Hillsborough Boys and Oxford United Stars. I'm Barry Green. It's a great morning for football. Hillsborough Boys currently fifth in the standings, whilst Oxford from Derry, London, Derry sit 10th of 12 in the league. Two skippers just coming together to take the toss at the start of the game. And Hillsborough going to be playing in their traditional red and black colours here. Oxford United Stars in blue. Slightly late in kicking off. The referee, Neil McKee, keen to get the match underway here.
their matches already started this morning in the National League Under-16 Premier Division. Lauren Youth nil, St. Oliver Plunkett nil, 20 minutes played in that one. And it's Limavady United, under 16s nil, Rosario nil. No goals in that one either, 15 minutes gone. about to become the third game underway. Dindella and Don Buscos about to kick off as well. Dindella top on 46 points and leading the way. Referee just checks with the two teams and we're underway. Slightly late. But, uh, good thing is the action is underway. An early touch there for Caden Wade of Oxford United Stars. Jimmy McCauley has the throw in. Go through the two team lineups in just a second. We see Fiacra McCallion. Well, that's good. Defending in numbers by Hillsborough boys. Haven't quite cleared the danger. And maybe get it clear in the third attempt. There's Jack McGinn. Plays the ball out to Ben Hammond. Sliding challenge comes in. And Hillsborough lose possession. Oh, lovely footwork that from McCallion. He's got three players round him. And that's with Adam O'Neill. Captain of Hillsborough Boys. Well, it's a good start from both teams here. Both teams uh, certainly attempting to keep the ball down. Jimmy McElmont. And again, it deflects all the way back to Vincent Duddy. Duddy a misplaced pass, and that will give. Hillsborough boys, the chance to mount an early attack after a minute and a half here. So Hillsborough boys playing from left to right in the red and black colours. They have Maddie uh, Robinson in goal. Back four, Ben Hammond, Josh Fu, Kenzie Ginn and Jake Thompson. A little too much on that. Adam O'Neill, Jimmy McElmont and Jack McGinn are the midfield three for Hillsborough boys. Toby Colby, Jack Lindsay and Rory Simpson complete the 11. For Oxford United Stars, it's Vincent Duddy in goal. They're playing in the blue and black colours. Callum Green, Kyla Walker, Charlie Simpson and Jimmy McCauley across the back. Viacra McCauley in, uh, Connor Park, Kathleen Duffy, Kula Derges, uh, Caden Wade, and Kyle Linton. Uh, the ball's with Jimmy McCauley. And a difficult uh, pass to execute. And that's a good play from Jake Thompson. Thompson back inside. Good play. Now it's with O'Neill. Now it's with Hammond. That's a good run from Hammond, forward from left back. Lovely footwork again from O'Neill. Good concerted pressure this from Hillsborough boys. Most out in the end and here again is McCallion. McCallion tries the early pass, it didn't quite come off for Oxford United Stars. That's with Robinson. Good spray off the ball. That's good football, this. The Millsborough boys, you can certainly see they're, they're coached the right way and they're intent on playing out from the back. It's lovely again from the keeper, Robinson, to Hammond. Easy on the eye. 
Attempted through ball though. Again. Cut out. Here's Caden Wade. And down a, an avenue that was ultimately closed in the end. That's with Jake Thompson. Nice switch. Get it back. Rory Simpson. He's up against Callum Green. Can he get the cross in? Cross doesn't clear the front post. A shot on goal, and that's a good save by the Oxford United Stars goalkeeper. So, five minutes gone. Clearance towards the halfway line. It's tidied up by Hillsborough boys, and more so than that. Opportunity to potentially shoot, and their skipper, Adam O'Neill, fires a shot over the top of the target. It was a lively start, particularly for Hillsborough boys. Goalkeeper keep this in. Does indeed. Matty Robinson to Jake Thompson. In fact, it's Josh Fu. Play it again across the, the back. There's Hammond. Touch inside to O'Neill. Jack Lindsay was stepping in to come into the action and ultimately the shot. The shot from Jake Thompson is over the top of the target and it remains nil-nil between Hillsborough boys sitting fifth in the table and 10th place Oxford United Stars. Step over from Jake Thompson. Ball down the line towards Lindsay. Good defending from Catherine Duffy. Throw into Hillsborough boys then. Jake Thompson has the throw. Last week, Hillsborough boys managed a two-all draw. It's a away game for them against Don Bosco's. This is Pacey from Caden Wade. Very Pacey, but well, it was superb in terms of its recovery from Josh Vu. Starting that attack for Oxford United Stars, but O'Neill breaks it up. And here's Lindsay again. No defending to do for Hillsborough. And again, Fu cuts it out. Made a strong start to the game. Here's Macklemont. He hasn't had too much to do, the referee, in the opening nine minutes here. Good game. Toby Colby. When 
Sends his throat. Cross into the Oxford United Stars box is cut out. Shot just past the target. Again, those real boys threatening. Didn't trouble the goalkeeper, Vincent Duddy, though. Lindsay, three players there, and this could run neatly for Hillsborough boys. Colby though, no way through for him. And they'll start again from the back. Hillsborough boys building all the way across to Hammond. Opportunity for O'Neill to shoot, and maybe should have done there. Hammond, that's back with Robinson. Again, distribution is top quality from Robinson. This is the ball down the line. Here's Lindsay. This pitch at Allen Park is uh, one that certainly allows for expansive football. Henry Simpson trying to edge further forward, cut out, and uh, Hammond will have the chance to the throw in. Here's O'Neill. O'Neill. Shot on goal, straight at the goalkeeper. Hammond, O'Neill. Good ball retention from Hillsborough boys and Oxford United Stars. Doing a sterling job, but um, chasing shadows at times. You know, they have to put a shift in here, but uh, as long as it remains nil-nil, no harm done. Been impressed so far. The quality of this game. Start again, patiently building from the back. Balls with Jake Thompson. It's a lovely show of the eyes and went the opposite direction to Thompson. Lindsay showed too much of it to Charlie Simpson. Good challenge from Simpson. O'Neill against Simpson. Of Oxford United Stars. High ball. Easily taken by Vincent Duddy. And after 13 and a half minutes here at Allen Park in the Subway under 16 National League Premier Division game, it's scoreless between Hillsborough Boys and Oxford United Stars. Strong, strong. Back, 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 back,
United Stars, it's Caden Wade. Brilliant from Wade. Lovely from Wade. Hillsborough. Had to be timely challenges in there. Colby tries to turn. Hillsborough still have it. Searching ball over the top, just a little bit too much on it. And I'm not sure whether he thought initially he could keep it in there. Jimmy Macamont. Did do. O'Neill. A little bit tight down that near touch line. He gets it back, O'Neill again. Opportunity for the shot. Simpson's shot easily taken again by Duddy in the Oxford United goal. Well, the opportunities coming the way of Hillsborough boys. Nothing overly clear cut, it has to be said. Slack ball, which has been seized upon by McCallion. Looks for a back, but again, it's strong defending from Hillsborough boys from Jack McGinn. Plenty of onlookers this morning. Games going on all around Allen Park. It's a great facility. United coaches wanting a bit more from their players here. This One more. It's the 18th minute. Yet to trouble Hillsborough boys goalkeeper Maddie Robinson. Defending from Josh Fu. It's McKenzie again. Searching ball from left back Jamie McCauley. Well picked up by Callum Derges. Fancied the shot, and that's fallen to McCallion. Well, he'll take a shot if he gets a, an opportunity. Triacra McCallion. Older brother is a, a Northern Ireland Youth International, Dathy McCallion. Keep going right. Just sit 
through ball but he just couldn't take it first time to be Colby now it's with Jack Lindsay a bit too much on it and Vincent Duddy encouraged to come out and pick that ball up that loose pass still it's scoreless almost 20 minutes gone back then towards Callum Durges Opportunities so far, at least for Hillsborough boys. Adam O'Neill with two of them, captain number seven, and Rory Simpson with that shot saved after 16 minutes. Easily taken by Vincent Duddy. Now, here is Kian Weird. We know he's got a bit of pace about him. Weird fires his effort over the top of the crossbar. on building out from the back which can be risky they have the capacity to do it Hillsborough boys There's keeper Harry Robinson's passing and distribution has certainly stood out for me in this first half Good ball down the line. Good take first time from Weird, but confident defending from Jake Thompson loses out though and Catherine Duffy gets Oxford United Stars Andrew White the goalkeeper's come here Duddy here's Wade tries to step through Kenzie Jin he uh Made sure that Oxford United Stars didn't progress any further. It was good defending. in front of him. Strong though from Fiacre McCallion. McCallion. Fair pass at the end of that. Did so well before it. 
Recovering from Kyle Walker. Throw-in goes the way of Oxford United Stars and it remains after 24 minutes at Allen Park in this Subway NIBFA Premier Division under 16 National League game. Hillsborough boys nil, Oxford United Stars nil. Again, Jake Thompson is seen plenty of the ball in the opening half. Nothing fancy. Vincent Duddy clears his lines. Kick to Hillsborough boys. Here's a good take from Jake Thompson. This is out though to Oxford United star skipper Charlie Simpson. Again to Hammond. Duddy, the ball from a call late. He's looking for his teammate, Callum Dersh is there. Those boys have got it back though. Jack McGinn to Hammond. He's dropping in the hole, pick up possession, tries a three ball, it's a super one to the skipper. And at long last, Hillsborough boys have managed to go in front, 28 minutes on the clock. And uh, Jack Lindsay unpicks Oxford United Stars back line, feeding the ball to the captain, Adam O'Neill, to make it 1-0 to Hillsborough boys against Oxford United Stars. Great move that. What can Oxford United Stars offer in response? We're just about to find out. A little more than Hillsborough boys deserve to be fair. Have had uh, plenty of opportunities. Adam O'Neill with two or three half chances, but he made absolutely no mistake this time. A real cool finish it was too. And uh, 
Very little that Oxford United Stars goalkeeper Vincent Duddy could have done to keep that out. So fifth place Hillsborough boys go in front. Goal scorer. Lovely ball to Lindsay. Lindsay. Great ball across the box, and somehow Oxford United Stars survive. Remains 1 0 to Hillsborough Boys. Stay on side. And he cut the ball back. The answer is yes and no. Toby Colby it was. He kept the ball in but uh, couldn't find a way to, to pick out a teammate. Well, it's offside. Even though Caden Wade skips through. Clips the ball into the Hillsborough boys go. Was uh, well offside. Confirmation on your screen if you needed it. In the graphic, Hillsborough boys leading courtesy of that 28th minute goal from Adam O'Neill. He'd love to thank his teammate, Jack Lindsay, for. The referee, Neil McKee, goes across to have a word and uh, looks like the throw in is going to be given to Hillsborough boys. Oxford thought it was theirs. McCallion. Direct McCallion. Just needs support on occasion. McCauley to McCallion. Can't really do much damage there, McCallion. Good from Jake Thompson. Pressed by him. Here's Colby. Good defending. Park it was. It was uh, resolute at the back, let's say. Good turn from McCallion. Lovely McCallion. Well, got a deflection which took the pace off it and made it easy for Matty Robinson. It remains 1 0 to Hillsborough Boys. Just a couple of minutes left until half time. The ball from Jake Thompson. It's the first time he's misplaced a pass today. Annoyed with himself, nonetheless. McCauley. Should be the goalkeeper. Runs all the way through. O'Neill looks up. Short pass was back to Jack McGinn. <laughs> Lindsay. That's the question the referee did. Oxford United Stars. Here's Simpson. Needed a call. 
keeps coming back, and here's O'Neill. Should run all the way through. It was Rory Simpson trying to weave his magic there. Couldn't cut away through in the 35th minute of this game. Hillsborough boys leading in this under-16 Subway-sponsored Premier Division National League game at Allen Park in Antrim. Ben Hammond did well to, to win it back. Those good boys, and here's Lindsay, who's the second ball on the pitch. And if you get it off the pitch, it's a bit of a distraction. Macklemont. Calmont, depending on your pronunciation. Reflection. Great turn from O'Neill. Referee looks at his watch. The first half is effectively on the blow here. And the ball is with Linton. Back to McCauley. Good ball from McCauley. Simpson. Tries the ball over the top, but it was well cut out. Josh Fu. That's with Hammond. Lindsay. Get it back here, Lindsay. Just a little bit slow in clearing there. Our Oxford United Stars. Jimmy McCauley, it was, and there is the half time whistle. The Hillsborough boys leading by goal to nil, thanks to. Adam O'Neill's cool finish after 28 minutes. Hillsborough boys could have been further in front. But half time they have that slender lead against Oxford United Stars. Do return again in the second half. And we'll have all the action live from Allen Park in Antrim.
Welcome back to Allen Park in Antrim. Hillsborough boys lead Oxford United Stars by a goal to nil in the Subway Under-16 Premier Division National League game. Adam O'Neill, the goal scorer, captain of Hillsborough boys after 28 minutes and Hillsborough boys kick us off in the second half. Playing in the red colours here. Now playing from right to left. Balls back with goalkeeper, Addy Robinson. the goal scorer. Adam O'Neill. That's with Kevin Flint. He's come on at half time for Hillsborough Boys. There we have it. Go on, kid. Go on, kick it. Oxford United on. Stars. Here's Caden Wade. Plenty of pace does Wade. That looked like a late challenge for me. Right in the edge of the 18 yard box from Josh Foot. Yellow card as well. Merited for me. Just went down a little bit too slow. Referee Neil McKee. Shows through the yellow. This could be dangerous for Hillsborough boys. Well, Taking responsibility. It's Charlie Simpson. Is it here for Oxford United Stars? Jamie McCall is all so stood over the ball. He could hit this left footed, so both options here for Oxford United Stars. I can see just over the top. Charlie Simpson. Milk <laughs> on Stars playing in the blue and black colours here. Simpson just dispossessed by his opposite number, and O'Neill tries the long ball, but Simpson gets it back. Weird. Opportunity here for Oxford United Stars. Wait! And there is the equaliser on 38 minutes. And uh, that's a great start to the second half from Oxford United Stars. The clearest chance they had and some haphazard defending at the back from Hillsborough boys. And that's one apiece now. That's all to play for. Good goal. Having dominated possession for so long, Hillsborough boys now find themselves all square once again. Good challenge from Macklemont. That looks sore. Challenge on Kyle Walker, and the referee will stop play for a second. Could have a bad leg here. Stoppage. Mm. It's 40 minutes gone. Mm. And one a 
apiece between Hillsborough Boys and Oxford United Stars. Been a good game. Good to watch for the neutral. Also in the Subway Under-16 Premier Division. Limavada United leading Rosario by two goals to nil. 56 minutes gone in that one. And still Larn nil. St. Oliver Plunkett nil. underway any second here Time, of course will be added on at the end of this game we'll start again to build from the back Alan green it was who received the pass from vincent duddy there from Hillsborough boys looking to re-establish their lead If you've just joined us, Hillsborough boys went in with a 1-0 lead at half-time. Adam O'Neill with the goal. Seven minutes before the break. And Caden Wade equalising just three minutes into the second half. Delicately poised between these two. Good take and turn by Kevin Flint. Flint. Good pass from him. Lindsay very nearly getting the ball back for Hillsborough. That's good. The numbers for Hillsborough boys. Working hard to regain possession. All the way back to the goalkeeper, and does. Oxford United Stars will build again from the back. Free kick coming up. It's Jimmy McCauley who's come off the ticket here. McCauley. Keep 
Simpson, deep ball, the back post, and couldn't quite get that on target. For a shot there. Resisted though. Here's Wade. That was good from Wade again. It was very nearly 2 1 to Oxford United Stars. Good goalkeeping. Tipping over Wade's shot. Opportunity for Jimmy McCauley to send in a telling delivery. 46 minutes on the clock, and those boys are living a lot more dangerously in the second half, it has to be said. off to Rory Simpson. Be cool, Bill. Join him here. It's good defending, good covering from Oxford United Stars defenders. Still one all. comes in. The best from Hillsborough. Which is weird. Get the cross in here. Be careful here. It was Kevin Flynn with the step over right on the six yard box. So dangerous. Got away with it. Simpson. Hills for box. Runs out for goal kick to Hillsborough. Opportunity for Hillsborough. Just Callum Green with the sliding challenge to make sure it didn't find its way to Rory Simpson. Frustrating. Get into an opportunity here, and uh, again, the delivery isn't great.
free kick. Tails for the United Stars and McCourt, who's come on. Hey, Oxford right, United on. Stars. Oh, to Toby Colby. Simpson around the corner. He's looking for Colby. It's not the right angle. It's a difficult one to execute, to be fair. Simpson. Again. Put away cheaply. Tidying up to do for Oxford United Stars and Jimmy McCauley. The ball continues to come back. And they've uh, re established a foothold here in the game, have Hillsborough boys. McElmont. In towards the six yard box, and here's Simpson. Oh, what a finish that is from Rory Simpson. One touch and smashes it past Vincent Duddy after 53 minutes here to re establish Hillsborough Boys' lead. Well, that was uh, excellent forward play from Rory Simpson. One touch out of his feet. Oh. A shot away, rifled home, right footed. 2 1 to Hillsborough Boys. Get the come from behind once in this fixture. Have Oxford United Stars. About to find out if they can do it again. Let's go! No, no, no! You're the Lord Ball. Get on the game. Don't be late when he starts. I don't care. Get on the game. Well, clear instructions from the referee. Let's play underway as quickly as possible. The ball goes out. Offside on that occasion. Against Toby Colby. Pass this time from Oxford United Stars. Good 
good take from Matty Robinson. Importantly for his team. Pulls the ball out to Simpson. You can see what he was tempting there. Score of Hillsborough Boys' second goal. It's a little bit too audacious. for a shot, blocked initially, and to Linton, still have it here, it is going to be a free kick to Oxford United Stars, it's Luke Bonner who's won it, again it's Simpson who's come across, Jimmy McCauley looks to be the player taking charge though. He fancies this. McCauley. Jimmy McCauley. Can he get this on target? McCauley. Oh, and the top of the crossbar. So close for Oxford United Stars. So close to a second equaliser. Well, 13 minutes of normal time remaining here, plus a couple of minutes, I would say, for stoppages. Here's Lindsay. Kenzie Jin, hopefully attempting to play that pass around the corner. All going to plan for Hillsborough boys who conceded so early in the second half. Simpson, but Matty Robinson shows the composure that he's displayed throughout this fixture. There's Caden Weir again. Gets clear, and my goodness, he could have scored a second goal of the game for him. Couldn't, should have equalised for. Oxford United Stars. And Walker comes back on. Robinson. Simpson. Flynn with a free kick. Flynn. Taha Mohammed's come on for Hillsborough Boys. Well done, no. 
Nick Bonner dispossessed. Now it's back with Robinson. Had to clear his lines quickly. Flynn again. Goalkeeping. Good outfield player, I would say, Maddie Robinson. or so remaining now for Oxford United Stars to at least get a goal back to get anything from this game. Here's McCallion. McCallion. Simpson showed just a little bit too much of the ball on that occasion. Here's Simpson. Simpson that was taking up possession for Hillsborough but he's since lost it from Jake Thompson again. Jordan Reid again. Good defending from Alexander Martin. Having come on for Hillsborough boys. Taha Mohammed, Simpson, ball over the top towards Lindsay, Jack Lindsay, good cut back, well, it's going to be tapped in in the end, a couple of ricochets there and Taha Mohammed makes it 3-1 after 63 minutes here. Not the easiest that one on the eye. Not that Hillsborough will be annoyed about that. Adam O'Neill, I thought, was going to score initially. And the ball squirmed under the Oxford United Stars goalkeeper, Vincent Duddy. That'll be one of the easiest tap ins that Mohammed has in his footballing career, I would say. Lovely 
the back now for Oxford United Stars. Just over five minutes of normal time remaining at Allen Park in Antrim. Mohammed up against McCauley. Well, as Bravois they were uh, rattled when an equaliser went in from Caden Wade at the start of the second half, but well, they got back to business. They have uh, controlled the play for the last 15 or so minutes like they did for much of the first half. Duddy, Tal Mohammed almost in. Still haven't cleared here and here's O'Neill. Simpson just couldn't feed it to Tal Mohammed. Now it's with Duddy again. Two and a half minutes to go. Hillsborough boys leading by three goals to one. side of the pitch, Josh Fu, player with a yellow card, the only player cautioned, a slightly late challenge, wasn't malicious. Flynn takes a throw in late in this game. The last minute of normal time. The ball down the line towards his teammate Toby Colby. Flynn. I think it's going to be a corner kick conceded by Luke Bonner. Oxford United Stars lost by three goals to two last time out against Lock All Youth. They have conceded three here today. Two defeats in two for the side who came into the game, sitting in 10th place in the league standings. It'll be a 
very valuable three points for Hillsborough boys. Taking them to 30 points in the standings. Dengala leading the way. Only lost once this season on the Duns. Loses out. The first minute of added time at the end of the 70 minutes. Callion wins a throw in for Oxford United Stars. Just hasn't really got enough of the ball in the right areas, Fiacra McCallion. in cut out the front post and strong defending again from Flint great ball down the line as well Simpson, my fold of Kalyan again. Cut out. Good run here, quite kindly for Taha Muhammad. Well read by Vincent Duddy. Ball, Lindsay couldn't finish it. Could be Colby would have put it well out of the reach of Oxford United Stars. The game is just about up in any case. Leslie, full time whistle, three points to Hillsborough boys who beat Oxford United Stars by three goals to one here at Allen Park in Antrim in the Subway sponsored under 16 National League Premier Division. It was 1 0 to Hillsborough boys at half time. Adam O'Neill with a cool finish seven minutes before the break. Hayden Wade equalised three minutes into the second half, but then Two further goals from Hillsborough boys put the game to bed. Rory Simpson, one touch out of his feet, smashed it into the bottom corner. And Taha Mohammed with the easiest of tap-ins. So a great afternoon at the office for Hillsborough boys. Oxford United Stars, well, they offered a lot from the outset. They'll have better days themselves but three points for Hillsborough boys full-time at Allen Park Hillsborough boys three Oxford United Stars one <laughs>